Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ben and I'm the RPG Peddler. And no, this is not more Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, as much as I am enjoying that and will continue that Let's Play to completion, I realize that may not be everybody's cup of tea. So in order to change things up a little bit, I'm going to try and simultaneously play Final Fantasy Tactics as a Let's Play and also um, put in Chain Echoes here which is a game that, at least on the Nintendo Switch, has only recently came out, uh, maybe like the past few weeks, maybe? Sometime in November, maybe. Uh, either way, retro-inspired turn-based RPG, that's about all I know. Uh, I'm a huge fan of v uh, good pixel art, and this game apparently has that in spades, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Um, and the music, I'm going to have to keep an eye on because um, it was super quiet when I started. And, and of course, it's quiet now again. Um, all right. Game language, English, Deutsch, Francois. I don't think that's how you say it. Uh, and then whatever that is. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I always turn vibration off. Everything else looks fine. Uh, we will save our changes, and then we will start a game. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't even looked at any reviews or anything like that. Wake up. It's time to get up, Glenn. Look how lovely the sun is shining. Still so early. Oh, come on. Get dressed quickly. Your friends may come at any minute. All right. Well, uh... Highly reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of the beginning of Chrono Trigger, which I like. Coast is already in sight, so stop sleeping. Huh? I'm already... It's going to get wild soon, so get your butt up. Mom? I said wake the heck up. Okay. Ooh. Do you believe this? We're on a suicide mission and he's taking a nap. No, actually, I haven't slept for days because of this mission. I just... I don't care, boy. Get up and move your sorry butt to the captain on up on the bridge. In full disclosure here, uh, if you're new to the channel, this is a uh, what I would consider a family-oriented slash family-friendly uh, channel. I don't always play family-friendly games, but I do try and provide family-friendly commentary. So in most cases where a cuss word is said or something like that, I am going to replace it with something uh, sometimes humorous, I would say. Uh, but either way, if, if you're not a fan of that, I apologize. But that's, that's the way it goes around here. So I have to stay on the Sternenrit stern today because I'm sick. I wanted to join the battle, but Kilian talked me out of it. Didn't mean to... Oh, I can't talk to that other guy. Mission is total suicide. We're supposed to break through the enemy lines as a vanguard. I'm scared, Glenn. What if I'm outnumbered on the battlefield? Would I be a coward to run away? Yeah, you can take a couple with you. Oh dear, I hope I can find the courage to do so. Oh, you can walk around them while you're uh, talking. That's that's a nice touch. Look pale, Glenn. A boy with your talent shouldn't always look so worried. If I die, my family in Valeria will get the money. They're waiting for it eagerly. For the money, of course, not for my death. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for you. If it isn't Glenn, excited, aren't you? Maybe a little. Relax, you just keep the sky above our heads clear and we'll take care of the enemy on the ground. We're a team. Together, no one stands a can chance against the band of the Iron Bull. You're right. And I just realized I'm covering up the um, character portraits. That may not always be the case. Uh, just bear with me as I kind of work around that as we're playing. Luck has been with us for years, as long as I have this lucky charm here. Oops, you dropped it. It's broken. 
Don't worry about it. Huh. It isn't a bad omen or anything like that. Just because our name was dragged through the mud by those mi miserable baboons of Amande, we now have to go on this suicide mission. If we survive this, we'll get back at them. Look at these babies, Glenn. Aren't they great? Is that dynamite? I've been saving them for a mission like this. Aren't they dangerous? It's dangerous only for the enemy. I know this stuff. It'll be fine. All right, all right, forget it. I'll leave it here. You, you're just going to leave it right there for people to walk on or something? Ah, crap. Hey, there's a there's a lion goat man and uh, a, a porpoise uh, warrior, it seems. All men in battle positions. This vanguard will not sink into the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Glenn, our ace pilot at last. I'm sorry. Too late for apologies. We're reaching the coast soon. Glenn, Keelian, you take the Sky Armors and go ahead. We'll follow you. Yes, sir. Our goal is the op Opus Stone. It feeds the Aether Cannons with energy. We smash that thing and clear the way for the rear guard. Understood? Yes, sir. Har, har, har. Our client doesn't think we'll survive this. Lured by the promise to pour gold around our families after our deaths, we took the job anyway. We will show them what we can survive. We will not let our family spend our pay alone, right? To the band of the Iron Bull. What? So soon? Their cannons shouldn't reach us yet. Curse Tyrrhenians and their darn technology. Let's go. Are you ready, partner? I think so. Say, Keelian, do you believe we can succeed? What are you talking about? Of course we can. Are you getting nervous? No, I mean, maybe a little. Don't worry, we'll go in, smash the Opus Stone, and get out. The rear guard will handle the rest. Yeah, sounds easy. Normally, we would have to work three years for so much money. What will you do with all of it? I'm not sure. I have a wish, but the money probably won't be enough. Come on, tell me. I always wanted to have my own sky armor. That's nice. What would you do with it? Surely it's not simply for taking walks on a nice day, right? I don't know. I would probably do the same as before. Sky armors exist for battle, after all. I could tune it up and work on it on my own, way. On my own, though. Hmm, you could be anywhere in the world, and yet you choose the battlefield. There's nothing else in my life. Since you rescued me back then, this mercenary band is all I have. You, however, have a family and a home. What would you do with all the money? You know that I'm not here for the money. I would choose the battlefield as well. There's still a long way ahead until I reach my dream. Ha <laughs> ha Looks like we'll have to put up with each other a little longer. If we survive this. What can go wrong with our ace pilot, right? Alright, you two. Enough romantic talk. You're ready to go. Godspeed, Glenn. Watch out, Glenn. The enemy is sending their own sky armors our way. How about a demonstration of your skills? I bet you can take them down on your own. Battles are turn-based. Junior enemies take turns. Order of each turn. Displayed. Health and tech, tech points are restored after each battle. Icon next to a skill indicates the type of skill. Loot. Uh, material skill points defeating an enemy will show your loot immediately but you will not receive it until after the battle oh okay oh he's he just pulled out a sword in the middle of the sky um, poison seems like a good idea What else we got? Oh. Oh, I see. I guess uh, we do this again. Why not? Ah, there's no challenge for our ace pilot. We shouldn't f fool around, Killian. Well, then get ready. Here comes a new challenger. All right, I guess we'll do the same thing. And I think I need to... Just this sound. Just a hair.
That's it, Glenn. Now onto the Opus Stone. Whoa, look out for their cannons. Oh no, man down. Man down. Killian. Well, so much for the Sky Armors. Are you all right? Of course not. The Sky Armors were our best chance to reach the Opus Stone. As long as we still have legs to walk and arms to wield a sword, we will not give up. It's about time you get to know the battlefield outside of your Sky Armor. You've had enough training. Here on land, you follow me. Understood? We'll fight away to the Opus Stone on foot. Once the stone is shattered, we can wait for the rear guard. All right. Digging the music so far. Ignore the battlefield, Glenn. Let's take this way. Climb up here. Okay. Physical multi-hit attack. Lowers targets, defense. I would assume that... Wouldn't really be worth it. Uh, debilitating effects outside of just regular combat. Let's see. Looks like they're probably just about dead. I think I'll do this. And then do this. And then both of them should be dead, maybe? Yep. I did it. Oh, let's look at... Uh, oh, we can't do any skills or anything yet. Okay. What can we do here? Oh, can we save anywhere? That's convenient. I like that a lot. Realistically, wish more games would do that. Alright, defensive stance. 15% reduction doesn't seem like a ton. Ooh, a critical. All right, I guess we got to go in here. Got a snack. It's the Sternerit. She was hit. No way. Focus on your task. I bet the others escaped in time. Now's definitely not the time to be mourning different things. All right, let's see. Might as well go ahead and break armor, I guess. Wow, that didn't really last that long, though. Make sure there's no treasure. There we go. You always got to check for the treasures. Glenn, don't talk. His wounds look bad. After I was hurled from the sternerit, I found myself in between the enemy lines. As you said, I tried not to flee try to defeat as many of them as possible. At least I'm not dying a coward's death. Oh no, did we just kill that man? I'm pretty sure we did. Watch out, Glenn. Oh, it's a, it's a flying fur man. More of them, get ready. 
There are too many. Need a hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's uh, it's that guy and the porpoise. I, I really like the porpoise. Let's show him the power of the Iron Bull's mightiest team up. Overdrive Bar's core battle system has three areas, yellow, green, and red. Cursor shows the current position. Small cursor shows where the cursor will jump when choosing an action. Reaching a green area, party warmed up in perfect synergy. In overdrive, the party takes less damage, deals more. Only needs to spend half amount on TP skills. Okay. Become overheated and enemy deal massive damage to you. In order to stay in overdrive, cursor must be moved back to the left. Can be done. Um... Sorry, I had to kill a spider. Um, let's see. The number next to it shows how many turns party has before the skill type switches. Um, switching out characters, using defend, and using an ultra move. Okay. Actions move the party's position on the overdrive bar. Try to reach and stay in the green area. Just don't want to go into the red. Red is bad. Um, I wonder if I need to keep my... All right, we'll just do a regular attack for now. Wide swing, I mean, why wouldn't we go ahead and use it? All right, we're in overdrive. Water prison. Increases defense and mind. Oh, that can bring us down, uh, bring us down some. Okay. Um... We should go ahead and take one of these guys out, I guess. Oh, how is he almost dead? Sorry, sorry, porpoise man. There we go. Wow, he takes a lot of damage. I probably should have healed him right there. That was a... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move it back. I guess let's just defend with him. Wait, how did we overheat? All right, we need to we need to take this. Um, what about doing that? No, we just need to defend. All right. Crap, we're gonna have to defend again. That's okay. We could do poison smash here. That'll be good on those. Oh, oh no, he's dead. Look at his little tongue sticking out. I wonder if, nope, he's gone. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see. Yeah, we gotta get somebody down here. Um, let's defend on him. We still have the defense buff. 
Let's defend on him also. Then we'll do wide swing here, and that should take out the front guys. I need to think about this. There we go. I still don't know how it went up like that. Uh, let's go ahead and take him out. And we may as well just go ahead and take him out. Nice. Okay. So you live. Barely. Fools, the Sky Armor were our biggest hope to end all of this quickly. We didn't stand a chance. They call you an ace pilot, and yet you can't even... Shut up, both of you. Save your strength. Stone is near. We will fight the remaining fo foes on foot. Forward. The Sky Armor again. This is bad. No choice but to fight it now. Don't worry, Commander. Guys, we will deal with it. You go and destroy this stone. Stay alive, you hear me? Of course. So the enemy has reached the stone. I'm sorry, my lord, but the casualties were... Spare me the details. Everything's going according to plan. Time for the final act. Hmm. Oh. The Opus Stone. Once it's destroyed, the ether cannons are out of fuel. Well, you had to know it wouldn't have been that easy. Your salt ends here, fiends. It's that sky armor again. That means the others are... I remember that sky armor now. That's Wing 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 Famous Doppelsoldner. I know of you as well, Band of the Iron Bull. What madness has befallen you to take such a mission? What did Gravos lure you with? With gold they do not possess? Do you even realize what you're dealing with? We need to get past him, then we smash the stone. Not if I smash your skulls first, you fools. Uh-oh. Um... That seems like a good idea. And yeah, why not? Need to play a little more defensively this time. So we can't see what his health is. Assuming he's still poisoned. Might as well keep our fellas topped off. Okay, he is still taking some damage. Uh, let's go ahead and defend, I guess. A cross slash will bring it way down. As will poison smash. Mm. Might as well. And we can heal. I, I like this. Uh, I like this overdrive system. It's kind of neat. It makes you think about. Um, it maybe makes you use stuff that you wouldn't normally use. Just to tip the scales a little bit. Oh, I should have. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Am 
Might as well go ahead and do this. So that stays on us. All right, cross slash will bring it down again. Guess I'll just defend. I don't want to defend again, just to bring it down a little bit more. All right, poison more off. Uh oh. Oh, that was uh, that was the worst ultimate attack I've ever seen in my life. That's going to take us out, so... Ooh. Might as well. He's got a... He has... Oh, armor break will bring it down. Okay. That'll work. Oh, we got him. We did it. Now for the Opus Stone. No! Commander Keelian, Opus Stone, what have they told you? Flynn, smash it. Stop, boy, there's no Opus Stone. Not fueling anything. Don't listen to him, go. Fools, the Grimoire. Huh, what is this light? Whatever it is, it doesn't look too good. Um, yeah, I'd say that's not good. Did everybody die? Okay. Hmm. Belandus, a continent with a proud history of over 3,000 years. Once, it was home to the magical city of Nisa, the center of magical teachings. But since its downfall, Belandus has been consumed by war. For six generations, three kingdoms have been battling for domination. In the north, the kingdom of everlasting rain, Terran. Greatest harbor in all of Belandus, Farnsport, and its kingdom, Escania, to the south. Finally, in the east, the proud nation of Gravo, Gravos. In 806 of the Seventh Era, Terran conquered Gravos. A few days later, during an attempt to reconquer lost territory, the greatest accident of the war occurred. A powerful explosion engulfed the eastern part of the continent. Tens of thousands of people died. Was that what just happened? The weapon that could cause such destruction remained unknown. Since none of the three kingdoms admitted to possess such a weapon, fear finally drove the rulers to sign a peace treaty. This ended, ended the war after 156 years. In 807, one year after the signing of the treaty, a celebration was held in Farnsport to mark the anniversary. There he is, Rob. I was not mistaken. Look for yourself. Ooh, pretty. Sitting right in the tree close to Lady Parnella's route. 
I do see him, but maybe he just wants to get a good look at the parade. He wouldn't need a sword for that. Also, they are forbidden during the festivities. Are you sure that's a sword? I can hardly recognize it. Rob, as exemplary members of the City Watch, it is our most urgent task to pursue this. We, we are supposed to guard the castle today, Princess. True identity is Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran, sister to Prince Frederick. Shortly before the end of the war, she fled the castle to see more of the world as well as her people's struggles, worries, and hopes in order to become a better princess to them. After a chain of events, she ended up as a guard of the City Watch for Terran's enemy's kingdom. Interesting. Rob, don't call me that. Ah, forgive me, you're... Rob, sorry, Lynn. Heir to the house of Ryermere. Ryermire. Rob grew up as a ward in the castle of Tormund together with Lynn. Once he learned that she planned to flee the castle, he insisted on tagging along. Her well-being is his highest priority. It's a miracle that we have not been discovered. If anyone fi here finds out who I am... Anyway, let us make haste towards the West Gate anon. I mean, let's, uh, hurry? Let's hurry to the West Gate. After defeating bosses or finishing special tasks, the party will gain Grimoire Shards. Owning a Grimoire Shard is similar to a level up. You can use it to strengthen your characters. Gaining one Grimoire Shard allows all party members to make use of it. Three types of skills can be learned. Action, passive, stats. While stat boots are automatically added and are permanently active, action and passive need to be equipped. That makes sense. You can use skill points to set skill skills menu to level up your actions and passive skills. Defeating enemies, you receive. Additionally, every character will accumulate SP that is placed in their own private pool, where you may distribute freely to whatever skill available for that specific character. Okay. Let's check it out. Um, where are spin one GS? Okay. Now is GS the star in the bottom? Let's look here. Yeah, I was looking for her HP. Maybe I should hold off on this. Adds five to your character's tech points. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Okay, so... Okay, so I only have one point. Red storage to all enemies. Oh, that might be nice. To an enemy who attacks the target. Interesting. I'm not sure. Let's do that. No, he only got a little measly uh, thing, but that's fine. Um, I guess we probably need to set. Oh, it already set it. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this first episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing. We'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.